Okay, guys. Let's check this out. So, we got some new information thanks to IGN on the Gundam movie. And it looks like we'll be getting Legendary Entertainment and Skull Island director Jordan Roberts are teaming up. Jordan Fox and Roberts are teaming up to work on a live action Gundam movie that will stream exclusively on Netflix. Ooh, Netflix. Well, um, it says here that the details about our, about the project operating under the working title Gundam are limited at this time. Brian K. Uh, who screenplay The Last Man and Runaways is writing the screenplay. I have not watched any of these. And will also act as executive producer. The movie will stream on Netflix probably um, globally except in China. So China is not getting the Gundam movie. I wonder why. Now if you're wondering, oh, why isn't China getting it? Well, the uh, the reason being, um, if you didn't watch Godzilla vs. Khan, I think you guys know the place that gets destroyed, pretty much trampled. Uh, the other reason is that, remember, Japan and China don't really get along that much, and another thing is, um, uh, China makes a bunch of knockoff of the Gundam kits. Some good ones, like the Supernova ones, well, depends if you get a good one or you get a bad one, that's kind of 50 from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, pretty much. Ah, this shouldn't bother anybody because it's Netflix. You know, you can. There's other ways of watching it and stuff here. So, Legendary would distribute the film. There is no set release date for the film yet. He joined by Kel Boiter, who will oversee the project on behalf of Legendary and Original Gundam Studios. Sunrise Jason Young, director of the original film at Netflix, will also receive the project. So, we have somebody that is from Sunrise, from what I'm getting, is gonna be uh, Jason Young, I'm guessing. Is gonna be the one overseeing it, or is it this guy? Let me see, he joins by Kel Boiter who will oversee the project Cap Legendary and Original Gundam Studio. Okay, yeah, Kel. So, Kel here, Kel Boiter, is gonna be the one from both Legendary and Gundam Studio Sunrise. So, that's gonna be interesting. Um, one thing I'll be honest with you, I don't know the names here because I don't really read credits or watch the credits or know and stuff like that, you know. Uh, Marvel kind of made us watch the, the credits, but that was only for one scene. I'm pretty sure nobody cared about the credits, you know. Uh, but there's a problem here. In terms of the movie's actual plot, Netflix is staying numb. It's unclear if Robert's film will take place in the Universal Century timeline the original Gundam anime is set. If Robert and Legendary take their influence directly from the show, fans should expect gigantic battles as the armies of the space colony wage war on the independence against those still on Earth. Ah, weird that IGN didn't say hostile Earth. More details about the film's plot are expected to be released in the coming months. Okay. This here, well, it depends. Depends on the budget, depends on what the story is gonna be. All this depends on that. On paper, it's a perfect match for Netflix. Legendary and Robert's Netflix has spent the last several years building up its own anime offer alongside developing big budget blockbusters, Netflix, and censoring anime like Evangelion. Didn't they censor Evangelion in, uh, on Netflix and that was the whole thing? Okay, that's stupid, because Netflix, um, why are you gonna censor that on Netflix? I mean, you're already paying, you should get the uncensored version. Decline to comment on the film's budget. That's gonna be a, 
a lot. As by the ignorance, still, Gundam is the perfect combination of both. Having a movie like Gundam could help Netflix bring in a batch of new subscribers and offer a, a type of must watch movie to prevent current subscribers from cancelling. Here is why I have a big problem. This and this uh, doesn't really relate to the movie. The thing is that even if they say that this, the Gundam movie will bring in new people and stop people from canceling, that's BS. Uh, a lot of people that watch Gundam anime and Gundam stuff will watch it from other sites other places um, and if you're already planning on canceling your Netflix you're gonna cancel it anyways uh, one movie one show is not gonna change that there's many op um, you know there's all other options you know to, to watch these movies and these shows that are Netflix exclusive um, the thing is Netflix has gotten under fire you guys know why you guys know that movie that starts with C and ends with an S. You know why? And if Netflix does another one of those this year, <laughs> Gundam ain't saving you. Uh, let's be honest. Let's be real. Gundam is not saving Netflix. That is not gonna happen. It says that tapping into an active global fan base. Uh, there's a problem here. Uh, the Gundam fans base is pretty split. There's people that like the anime, there's people that like the manga, and there's people that like the Gunpla. Now, and those are people that watch all three, there's people that only uh, do two of the things, there are people that only build Gunpla. So this, not because, you know, it's a movie doesn't mean that people are gonna run to watch it. We all... A lot of people want a Gundam movie, but that doesn't mean that everybody that builds Gunpla is gonna go see it. That's just the reality of it, so you guys have to do Netflix. At the end, you have to rethink this, because this is a double-edged sword. Like Netflix did with this Witcher live action series. Oh uh, yeah, the Witcher live action series was good, but that wasn't a movie, that was a series and everybody binge watched it and it was good it is good it is great but we're still waiting for season two so the the thing is that the witcher you know many people played the games and read the books so people wanted to do you know experience that world in live action and they have the, they have a great Gerald and a great cast and it's really darn good the problem with gundam like i said it could it is a global fan base yes like i said global fan base but it's a must watch no no i know i i have i know many people that are not gonna watch halloway because they already know how halloway ends and they're like well, i'm gonna watch halloway i already know where it ends i don't like noah you know how we know I don't like him. I don't like the Mustaf. I don't like the, um, the Penelope. I don't like that. So I'm not gonna watch that. You know, uh, they're banking on Gundam's. Uh, uh, they're banking on Gunpla. They're banking on Gunpla. Sadly, the thing is, uh, Netflix. The money Bandai makes from the Gunpla, they're gonna be in this movie. You're not gonna get a single dime from that. You're not getting. You're not getting anything from that. In fact, if you make money off the Gundam movie, Banda is the one that's gonna get everything. Because you have to remember one thing. They're the ones that have the copyright material. They're the owners of the Gundam. So you're just, you know, having the license. I know you put money into the production all that, but the ones that are really gonna make the money is gonna be... Um, Freaking Bandai, because if the movie comes out and the movie's bad, but the gunpla is cool, and they have some cool Gundams, guess what? Bandai's win, Bandai wins here, easy, easy. 
and it's not gonna be episodic like the Witcher, which is already cast that going against it. So that means that it's gonna be one movie or it's gonna be a couple movies. And the thing is, these are the run times of the three movies that were released in the theaters. The three movies, all three of them, basically tell the, the story of the one year war. As you can see, all of them are over two hours in three movies, you know. So, will they go with something like that? Maybe, but the thing is, how much, you know, how good is going to be the first act? Or is it going to be an original story? That's the that's the big question that we don't know. And I wish they would have answered that, because right now, we don't, we just don't know. So, they're expecting to get new subscribers and stop people from canceling. That's not going to happen. That's gonna happen. The backlash that Netflix has gotten is just crazy and trust me, I haven't paid for Netflix since 2009. So it's been a very long time and I don't care about Netflix, I don't care about subscribing again. I think they have some good stuff. But after that whole fiasco, you guys know what I'm talking about, it really doesn't, to me it doesn't really, um, you know, when you talk about the this and Netflix, no nah, man, nah, no, no thank you, no thank you, you can, you know, uh, I, I don't want to give you my money, that's how it works, and that's the thing that they don't know about Gundam fans. A bunch of Gunpla fans are rebels. I mean, we buy third party stuff, we buy... The, the thing is, Bandai can go like... Let me give you a sample. When the Wayne Gundam Zero version Kyle was first shown, which I know about that because I was the one that broke the video on YouTube, I was the one that broke the news on it, Many people were up in arms because they were like, oh, they're giving us a 2.0 of a version Katoki and Katoki this and Katoki that. We don't need another Gun Wayne Gundam, we don't need another Wayne Zero, blah, 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 right? People were up in arms against that and the backlash was big. To the point that I think the video Bandai Korea did of basically an early review of the Gundam was to shut the to shut those people up and they did they did they did they slapped them in the face they that, that Gundam that Gundam the people that were talking so bad about the Gundam got hit so hard when that thing came out when that beautiful Gundam that I have right here sitting next to me came out and that thing was it it, it was so amazing to this day I, I mean to this day I I have it on my shelf and I look at it and I go like, no way I have this guy, no no way we got a, a hell of a Wayne Zero. You know, the thing is that these people, Netflix is not, Netflix and Legendary are not counting on that. They think that we're just gonna follow it up. No, not all the Gundam animes have been good, not all the Gundams OVA have been good, not all the Gundams mangas have been good. Not everybody likes the same Gundam. And for you to be able to make for Bandai, the, the way Bandai does it is really awesome. Because the thing is this, they, come, they came out with Wayne Zero. Everybody was like, I don't want Wayne Zero, I don't like Wayne Gundam, all that stuff. But when they showed the actual features, how articulate it was, how good the wings are and all that stuff, it, and the painting, all that, that's where all that hate died. That, that's where it died. There's people that still hate it that don't like the design, but they, from a mechanical standpoint, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing what they did with it. So, you know, it's, it, they, can they do that with, with this? No, because it's a movie. And it's gonna be made, and they're gonna show the trailer. And if they show the trailer, we'll have to wait and see what they have. If it's an original story, 
Mm, that's gonna be hard to sell. That's gonna be hard to sell like any Gundam series. The first few episodes are really important. And if people don't like the designs of the Gundams, you lost them. You lost them right there. You know. And it's one of those things that it, it, it's weird. You know, we all, everybody in the Gunpla community has weird tastes. Everybody has something weird about them. I mean, like, I, I like lead mobile suits, but I also, uh, but I, I like Sakus, but I'm not into buying them, you know. Uh, Obviously, there's, it's a, if there's a Saku that I want to buy, it's going to be Charles. But other than that, you know, not interested in the other Sakus. It, it, it just works like that. It's, it, it, Gunpla is a hobby, and they have to understand that Gunpla is like cars. There's there's people that only buy Corvettes. There's people that only like Fords. There are people that only like certain amount of things. I know people that only collect Grandpa Gundam. I know people that only collect uh, Wayne Gundam or G Gundam, God Gundam, you know. That's the thing about this, and can we all agree that yeah, the UC was what brought you know brought Gundam to the forefront, but the Gunpla was what actually sold it. You know, the Gunpla was what saved Gundam. The Gunpla was what brought Gundam back, and that is what these people don't understand. They're banking because of glow fan base. Oh, let me just that, that thing is a double-edged sword. This is a double-edged sword. You guys do not make a good movie. You guys don't have a good plot. You guys don't have good effect. You guys don't have good designs. You're dead in the water. The Gunpla are, are not gonna save you. They might save... You know what? They might save you the first few weeks because you know that I'm, if when that, this movie comes out, this is what, what's gonna happen to Gunpla. It's gonna be the same thing that happened with Pokemon cards. People went crazy, a bunch of YouTubers went crazy, people that had really a lot in the um, disposable income, but boxes and boxes and still buying boxes and still buying more boxes to the point that the market is so saturated with all these overpriced cards that people don't want to get them. And, that's, and that could happen here with Gunpla. That could happen here with Gunpla because of this. So this whole thing is a double-edged sword. I mean, Legendary did an amazing job with Godzilla vs Kong. I loved it, but you know, it, it's just I don't know how to feel about Gundam. They haven't given us anything solid here. Not even an outline. Not even telling us. Like, it couldn't just say a, a young boy coming of age story. Which is what Gundam is. The, well, the, at least the original story. If you go with Wing and other stuff, then it's different, especially when you go to see. Uh, why can't, you know, why can't they just give us a straight answer? IGN didn't ask any good questions, anyways. I mean, they're the ignorant, so there you go. So, I don't know. This uh, is also a smart move for the company. Huh? Like I said, it's a double-edged sword. This is not a poster for the movie. This is just something that they put there. Uh, so it's not, you know, we, we don't have a poster. We don't even have a release date. Check it out. We don't know where it's going to come out. We know that there's going to be more news coming out this year, supposedly. But if the news is the same as this one, it's not worth it. Now, they say they're gonna, you know, you can really hear with legendary hybrid system of HBO Max and all that stuff. Eh. I, when I was watching Godzilla vs. Kong, I, I just went to watch in the theater, honestly, with people. Because it would have been a lot more awesome like that. Big screen, a lot of people, IMAX, it would have been great. Didn't get to watch it like that. I, I watched it on my laptop. Amazing screen, 4K, all the bells, all the whistles, but it wasn't the same experience, you know, as sitting there on the theater. And I think Gundam should be on the theater. I think Gundam should be 
there on the big screen and everybody can see it and everything. That would be pretty awesome. So, yeah. They, you know, there's nothing here. We'll lose out of box office revenue. Yeah, the thing is that this now will lose box office revenue. During this pandemic time, this has become an excuse. This has become an excuse to release subpar movies that are not generating the amount of money and they go like, oh, oh because of COVID. No, no. Uh, but time to end that excuse. Time to end that excuse. Just like... The, that's pretty much the same excuse Cyberpunk gave, right? They're like, oh, because Kobe, we couldn't do stuff. And then they were like, oh, no, the people are haters and all that stuff. And they, they're they the one that overpromised stuff. So, no. No, I am I have a bad feeling about this movie, honestly, guys. I, From everything I see here, I just have a really bad feeling. I have a bad feeling about this movie, sadly. And it's not... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. It could be we don't want another G Savior. But it could be. It could be another G Savior. It could be worse. But it could be good. Like I said, they're banking on this on the global fan base. Which the global fan base are rebels, man. I mean, how many. This is a good question. How many of you build Dumpla using everything from Bandai? When I mean using everything by Bandai, I mean your Nipper Cyber Bandai, your Sandy Sponges or Bandai, your Part Separators are from Bandai, Paints are from Bandai. Not everyone. Mine, my, um, my Nippers are Gahan. <laughs> you know, they're Gahan. They're the best of the best. But they're not bad. Bandai doesn't make Gahan. Um, in fact, I have them right here. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull them out without making such a fuss. Nope. Got hands are made by Got Hand. Got Hand tools. Yeah, they're not made but from Bandai. So, you know, the thing is that we use other stuff. The thing is that we use, uh, like, my sanding, my nail file is from Avon. You know, and I could get an anal glass one, which that's gonna help out a lot more. And that's the thing that they're, you no, know, they're banking on this thing. That is not. Is it gonna bring new people? Yeah, it's gonna bring new people. It's gonna bring a, a lot of fake new people. We all know that. Uh, there's a bunch of fake people that supposedly know about Dumpla, but have not built Dumpla or have somebody else build their Dumpla for them. Which, honestly, if, if you're gonna build Gumpla, at least build the Gumpla yourself. I mean, build, build the Gumpla yourself, and if you're gonna have it painted, then okay, I'm fine with that. I want to have my Wayne Zero painted by somebody professionally, but that's not gonna happen for a while. Um, but there's a lot of fake people out there, and this movie is gonna help that and it, it, it just feels like it's gonna take away from real Gunpla fans, from real Gundam fans. Because I love the anime, I love the manga, I haven't read all the novels, um, I haven't watched all the anime obviously, I haven't watched G-Self, I, I see it, I only watched a little bit of the first season, I haven't watched the second one, G Gundam I love it, I, I love Wayne, um, I love the whole 83 Stardust Memories, I love MSO 08, the original series, the pants, <laughs> it depends on the episode, because I, the original series, the thing about the original series that I have watched the individual movies, but I have a, have a really naughty thing for the original episodes because you see the Gundam run so badly sometimes that it's just funny it's just laughable you know but Seda I love Seda I love double Seda Endless Walls of course I have it first anime movie that I bought with my own money there's just 
you know, there's just so many things that they can get right, but there's a lot that they can get wrong. I mean, Ready Player One show us what a Gundam would look like in CG and looks amazing. That's what Grab this. But the thing is that Gundam is not Ready Player One. Unless, you know, if I were to make a Gundam movie, this is how I would do I would just go with Gundam um, Build Fighters. I would just go with that. Because you have, you promote the kids, and then you can have all the Gundams there, and then you can make your own Gundam and have it, you know, be the lead there, and then have a couple more. And you can, you know, diversitize the characters, diversitize the Gundams. You can make it into a tournament uh, with some little bit of drama here and there. So you can do that. You can make a catchy theme song for that. I, I think if they were to, you know, if, if I were to make a Gundam movie, it would probably go with that. And I don't know if you want to make an original story. I don't know. What they're gonna go for? There, they could go with everything. I would love to see a really adult take on the One Year War, but we have done the make the move for that and all that stuff. So I don't know. I, I think they're gonna stick to the UC. Honestly, that's my opinion. I think they're gonna stick to the USC, um, and we're gonna have ammo story. If they do that, hopefully Char is really well done. It's not like. He's just a bad guy. No, no, no. If you if you're gonna have Char, you have to have badass Char. A Char that has his really bad moments, and a Char that has some really good moments. A, a Char that goes from being a good guy, you know, being good guy, and then a, sec a second later he's bad guy. You, you just have to have that, and of course you have to have the Char kid. Obviously, you have to have the char kick and CG. Um, Kong and Godzilla has some really good CG, but it needs more. It, it, for the Gundam, it has to look better. I wish. If I were move, making the Gundam movie, I would just go like, Hey, Bandai. These are the designs for the Gundams. Make us perfect grades of them. Add as much detail as you can and everything. Uh, get Katoki Hajime in there. And use that, use that, use old school stop motion. Oh, awesome! If you mix stop motion with some CG, um, it, you can make some really cool stuff. Obviously, the budget that's the problem, and CG is a lot easier according to them. So, you know, there's a bunch of problems, there's a lot of stuff, so we'll have to wait and see. So, yeah, guys, that does it for my video. So, if you're interested, on check it out my channel. I suggest you do. I have a bunch of review of my gunpla, of my figures. I think I have almost all my gunpla there. I the only ones that I'm missing. I, I know all my Gundams are there. The only ones that I'm missing are four, which are Massinger C, Great Massinger, Grandizer. Who is the other one? Uh, no, four. Those three. Yeah, those three, and then. That, that's it. I have to work on reviews on those. But yeah, make sure to check it out. I do build videos, I do unboxings, and like I said, I do reviews as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.